brass. A lot of bands these days include a brass section. This usually consists of a trumpet, trombone and saxophone. And each instrument adds its own unique tonal quality. Apparently. The most popular brass section instrument is the saxophone. The main requirement for playing the saxophone is to chain smoke and stand round shouldered for hours at a time. <laughs> On the knack. A very famous sax player once gave this piece of advice to people learning to play the instrument. Just blow as hard as you can and keep your ass shut. Pardon. The saxophone was invented by an Austrian called Adolf Sax. This is not to be confused with the inventor of the trumpet, who was Adolf Trump. And so, on to the trumpet. The trumpet is quite straightforward. You spit down one end, twiddle your fingers and point the other end at someone in the front row. In a trumpet player's case, you'll always find a small squeezy-type bottle that sprays liquid and a small bottle of lubricating fluid. After many years of hanging round with trumpet players, you'll find it best not to ask about these. That's right. And finally, the trombone. A trombone is used for making loud rasping noises and poking the keyboard player in the back of the head. Just for fun, ask a trombone player to show you what the lowest note is on a trombone and the slide will fall off the end every single time. Because the brass section don't have much to do apart from a few they often develop their own stage act. This includes wearing something silly, dancing like the shadows and trying to put other members of the band off while they're doing a solo. By the way, the brass section is called the brass section because it gets paid most for doing the least. That's the brass. Next time, the keyboards.